Sydney Metro has a very good specialist team that understands noise and vibration quite well through its experience. And what it will do, it will look at what these impacts are potentially going to be and it will look to see what are the best mitigation measures that they can put in place. And it'll also do that in consultation with the affected community. In assessing construction noise, we will construct a 3D model and that model will allow us to put in various scenarios of barriers and acoustic sheds and mitigation measures so we can look that to see what is required to meet the regulatory requirements. Through phases of construction, we will undertake monitoring to validate the predictions that were made early in the design process and we will use those monitoring results to determine if the measures we've put in place to mitigate noise have been satisfactory or if they need to be adjusted. Sydney Metro understands that noise and vibration impacts uh, occur and are disruptive to the community and it seeks and looks at contemporary ways that it can reduce those impacts. Airborne noise can be mitigated in several ways. One of the ways Sydney Metro has reduced noise significantly on its project is by the innovative use of acoustic sheds. These sheds, when constructed, will enclose a whole site and are quite useful in reducing noise from that. Another innovative technique that Sydney Metro has used has been the reduction of saw cutting and rock hammering on its sites. And it's used these through concrete to scissors to cut through the concrete rather than to demolish it by using impact hammers. Both of those techniques have resulted in significant reductions in impulsive noise from those sites. There will always be impacts from construction noise and Sydney Metro works with the community to schedule those as best as they can within time frames such as avoiding sensitive periods such as the night or school holidays or exam times so that it can minimise the impact on people.